not talk about him if that's okay? Oh, no, the General Mahamatra isn't a bad guy or anything. Matter of fact, I have him to thank for bringing me back from Mondstadt to Sumeru and finding me a safe place to stay. It's just that, um... Whenever I'm reminded of the sealing process just before leaving Mondstadt, oh, the back of my neck starts hurting again. She seems a little absent-minded. If she ever comes to perform around Gundarverville, I'm worried she'll end up wandering off into the forest and getting lost. So I'll have to watch out for her, as a responsible trainee forest ranger should! Although Master can be quite stern and is always criticizing adventurers for carelessly eating poisonous mushrooms, he is actually a gentle soul. He's so patient when he tutors me, and he even reads out letters from Mondstadt for me. I've always been very grateful to him. The Dendro Archon? When I was a kid, there were so many times when I just wanted to scream out to the gods and ask them why. Why did I have to go through so much pain? But for all I know, maybe the gods feel just as helpless about everything they have to endure as I did back then. I ran into her once on forest ranger duty. She pulled out a bottle of fruit juice from her bag that looked really tasty, as if she somehow knew I was thirsty. <sighs> Fortunately, Master was there, and he stopped me from spending all of my hard-earned mora in a moment of <laughs> weakness. Um, to be honest, I don't really know how to handle people like Madame Farzan. She's always saying that I'm a hard-working student and eager to learn, but that's because I have to be. I'm a slow learner, so I have to put in the extra effort. Oh, there was a time when I accidentally saw her research journal. Only for a second, though. It was all written in old script, and I couldn't even make out half of it. Definitely the scariest book into that. The General Mahamatra once brought him to our place for a meal. From the moment the fruit arrived on the table, he ranted non-stop about his difficult and stubborn roommate for the entire meal. We didn't get a single word in the whole time. We just nodded along and tried to stifle our laughter. It took a lot of effort. After all this time, Lisa still calls me Little Kale when she writes to me. I feel like by now she... Hmm? She calls you cutie? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I don't mean to laugh. Um, but I must say, that makes me feel a lot better. How's everyone in Mondstadt? Are they good? I caused so much trouble back then. I sometimes wonder if I should make some time to go back there and apologize. Hmm... But what if I ran into the cavalry captain and he started teasing me? Uh, yeah, there's no rush. Maybe I'll leave it a while longer. Princess Ender Vertolong? Mm, nope, sorry. I wasn't in Monsat for very long, so I didn't hear of her. That name, though. Ugh. <clears throat> Nothing. Amber is amazing! She's friendly and has tons of enthusiasm! Plus, she's really brave and always does the right thing! She's the person I admire most of all! She's like a cozy fire that makes everyone around here feel... warm. <sighs> There's no way I'd be where I am today without her. So much time has gone by. I bet she's even more cool and confident than ever these days! <sighs> Who knows if I'll ever be able to match her? Amber's mentioned you before in her letters. I can't believe how much has happened in Mondstadt since I was there. Too bad I had to skip the words I didn't know, so I missed out on a lot of details. Oh, but since you're here now, would you be willing to tell me the whole story? I used to think that I'd never make a single friend in my whole life. But things changed when I went to Mondstadt. Then after that, I met Master and Sumeru. Now I've met you too. All in all... I think I've been really lucky. 
I never thought there'd come a day where I get my own vision. In the past, I used to think that the gods only cared about people who were born popular. Um, but I was in a bad place back then. Sorry, 